tourists and local residents disembark a boat coming from nearby Nusa Penida Island as plastic trash pollutes the beach in Sanur, Denpasar, Bali, Indonesia, April 10, 2018. Reuters governments throughout Southeast Asia have launched a war on plastic waste. But most are still in the early stages of creating waste management strategies and passing laws needed to implement them. According to the Ocean Conservancy, a nonprofit environmental advocacy group based in Washington, D.C., more than half of the world's plastic waste can be found in five Asian countries China, Indonesia, the Philippines, Thailand, and Vietnam. But when it comes to combating the hazards caused by plastic waste, the Southeast Asian nations have lagged behind China, which in January banned all imports of plastic waste. China also banned shops more than a decade ago from handing out free plastic bags. All of these nations have long shorelines and beaches that have been polluted by plastic waste. As the Reuters news agency describes it, Southeast Asia's plastic addiction blights oceans. The website Mekong I says that Southeast Asia's Mekong region is the world's single largest contributor to plastic waste in the marine environment, according to the Jakarta Post in Indonesia. That country is regarded as after China the second biggest marine plastic polluter in the world. The newspaper says that an estimated 1.3 million tons of plastic waste is produced daily across the Indonesian archipelago, creating a major threat to ocean ecosystems. The Indonesian government has announced a target of reducing maritime waste in Southeast Asia's most populous nation by 70% by 2025. The government is also urging the public to reduce the country's dependence on plastic in their daily lives. Plastic is widely used in Indonesia in bags, cups, straws, bottles, and other utensils. The environmental group Greenpeace has ranked the Philippines as the third worst polluter into the world's oceans after China and Indonesia. But Greenpeace says that Western consumer giants should take the blame for polluting oceans by selling products packaged in cheap, disposable plastic to Filipinos. China's impact on Vietnam Businesses in Vietnam have been making a profit through the recycling of waste imported from China and elsewhere. But top government officials are now warning that this practice has come at a high environmental cost and must end. According to the website Vien Express, Vietnam's environmental minister Tran Hong Ha told the country's National Assembly that businesses will have to halt scrap imports because the country is unable to deal properly with the waste. Vien Express said that China's action in banning certain waste imports in January left many nations scrambling to find new dumping grounds for growing piles of garbage. Vietnam became the biggest importer of plastic waste from the United States in the first quarter of 2018. But major shipping terminals in Vietnam announced that they will temporarily stop accepting imported waste from June 25th until October 25th. The Tan Kang Kai Mep International Terminal located near the southern Vietnamese coastal city of Bang Tau said recently that the large quantity of plastic waste containers the port had received had caused troublesome backups and delays. Two of Vietnam's less economically developed neighbors, Cambodia and Laos, have also faced growing pollution problems resulting from the disposal of plastic waste in public places. The Fondazione Acri, a non-governmental Italian organization, says that the average Cambodian household uses 10 times more plastic than its counterparts in more developed economies. Citing ACRA's report, 
The Cambodian English language newspaper Khmer Times says that many plastic bags in Cambodia end up floating on Cambodia's major waterways, turning the Mekong River and Ton Le Sap Lake into a site to be lamented. Darren Henderson, the Asia Foundation's program advisor in Laos, in a report published last year, said that urbanization and a shift to consumer lifestyles in rural areas is leading to an increase in imported and manufactured products, which are typically comprised of plastics and other non-biodegradable materials. Sanitary landfills are limited in Laos, and community dumps are poorly managed. As a result, Henderson said, the majority of people must come up with their own solutions for waste disposal by burning their garbage or dumping it into vacant lots or into rivers. However, an awareness of the environmental impact of leaching hazardous substances into soils and water and health problems caused by the inhalation of the smoke given off given off by burning plastics and other materials, such as batteries, remains low in Laos. Please subscribe to get more video news from Channel HK Reading Book. Thank you.